Hey there, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. In this video, we'll explore the intriguing world of timing belts, their importance for your machinery, and how to properly store them for optimal performance. Get ready to discover the secrets behind timing belt longevity, how to decode their date codes, and the telltale signs of belt deterioration. So, whether you're in maintenance or operations, stick around to learn how to get the most out of your timing belts. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of timing belts, also known as synchronous or cog belts. These are designed to keep multiple moving parts rotating in sync. Any slippage can mean missed timings on important components, leading to decreased equipment effectiveness. This is especially crucial in mobile equipment like trucks, forklifts, and tractors, which are their most common application. Did you know that a timing belt's shelf life is approximately eight years? That's right, but this is only if it's stored in the right conditions. After that, its service life will start to gradually decrease. So what are the right conditions for storing timing belts? Well, they should be kept in a cool, dry environment away from sunlight and moisture. It's recommended to have humidity below 70%. Temperature is also a key factor. The ideal temperature for timing belts is 30 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Fahrenheit. For every 15 degrees Fahrenheit above this recommended temperature, the timing belt's shelf life decreases by half. So, temperatures beyond 45 degrees Celsius or 115 degrees Fahrenheit should be avoided. Just like other types of belts, timing belts should be kept out of direct sunlight. Sunlight can diminish both its shelf life and overall service life, resulting in a premature failure. It's also important to keep timing belts out of high ozone environments, like those created by transformers and motors. And don't forget about chemicals. Evaporating solvents and other chemicals that give off airborne fumes should be kept well away from timing belts. When it comes to shelving, avoid crimping and excess bending. Nesting belts inside one another is a big no-no, as it can damage the tensile components of the belts. Timing belts are best kept on shelves, not pegs, and should be off the floor unless a designated container is used. Now let's talk about how to read the date codes on belts. Belts come with various markings, including a date code. This code is usually four numbers. The first two are the week in which it was manufactured, and the last two are the year. For example, a belt marked with 0415 was manufactured in the fourth week of 2015. A timing belt marked with the digits 2518 was manufactured in the 25th week of 2018 and a belt marked with 4512 was made in the 45th week of 2012. It's probably on its way out. But remember, different original equipment manufacturers may use different marking systems, so make sure you don't confuse the date code with the measurement code on the belt. The measurement code will usually have letters mixed in. If a belt has been on your shelf for an extended period of time, it may show signs of deterioration. These signs include cracking in the rubber, delamination where the exterior rubber starts peeling off, Unraveling of internal fibers, twisting, missing cogs or teeth, missed timings and slippage in the machine, and a buildup of black residue on sheaves and pulleys from belt wear. One of the best ways to keep track of the age of your belts is to keep careful records through your computerized maintenance management system. With MRO order and inventory tracking, you can more easily determine whether a belt on your shelf is too old to be put into use. But beware of forced deterioration of belts. This is belt deterioration due to poor storage or mishandling. It can be problematic in many ways. Some of the dangers include lost production time, inefficient operation of assets as more power goes into running the machine, failure on startup, and drive cog slippage, and missed timings. It's rare for belts to completely break while on a machine. Typically, you'll have wear and tear that decreases the efficiency of the system, driving up the cost of both operations and maintenance. Plus, there's always a safety risk when it comes to working on equipment. If a belt wears out too quickly, it creates more opportunities for injury to those who have to shut down the equipment and replace worn components. So, take care of your belts and they'll take care of your equipment. Thank you for watching this video. We've covered the importance of timing belts, their optimal storage conditions, and how to decode their date codes. Remember, Proper care and storage of your timing belts can significantly increase their service life and the efficiency of your machinery. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For more information, visit our website at upkeep.com.